we just take it over Hollister's Fort. We, we own a fort now, folks. Before we go any further than that, we're going to flash back to a couple of things I forgot about. So when we killed that buffalo, here's the preamble for that. Every season, each brave must prove his worth. He must kill a great white buffalo, search the plains. They roam with their kin. And now we know why the great white buffalo is extinct. Yep. And also there's two pieces of gold. Uh, both in the, uh, I think this is called the Ten Figure Canyon area of the Badlands. Um, they're, they're pretty well hidden out here. So that's one. And here's the other one. Over near some coyotes, and we're we're gonna see another another instance of stretchy coal. Yoink! Planking professional, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Anyway, end of flashback. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we've uh, we basically have control of this fort. It is gonna be our new hub world. I actually don't like it that much, not because it's poorly designed, but because it's really out of the way. And it always starts you at the top. So you have to climb down to the bottom in order to actually get anywhere. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty decent area, like as a hub world. I just wish that they'd spawned you like closer to where Not way in the hell up there. Yeah, like closer to where the horse was. And also, you can just, uh, if you feel like it, you can just kill wild animals for no reason. I, I think I just killed Chewbacca, actually. <laughs> oh no. It's the buffalo equivalent of the Wilhelm scream. The garbage chute is no longer accessible, at least from this side. You could still access it from the other entrance. Um, the other major feature of this map is that uh, there are still renegade soldiers out here who are loyal to Hollister, and they will be engaged in a uh, an endless scripted fight with uh, with the natives here. Also, that rock always confuses me. It looks so much like a like a gold piece. Fool's gold. Yeah, that is the ultimate fool's gold. So yeah, you can see those red dots on the map. Those are those are soldiers, and they will just be be fighting some of the Blackfeet just eternally. Forever. Yep, it's it's a, script, a little scripted sequence. It adds a little bit of flavor, which I appreciate, considering how many other horrible broken things there are in this game. It's it's nice to see something working for a change. We named the dog Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Now it's time to pick up our very first piece of gold that we found all the way back in video two. There we go. We we, we closed that. There's the, the another invisible wall. I actually like this area in the uh, in a mid game section because there's uh, it's, it's got a nice sort of autumn feel to it and. Uh, there's there's a, a native camp set up here, which you which you would you actually saw in the, that very first title screen that I showed at the beginning of uh, episode three. He fixed the rope. Looking yep. For work, try your hand at the gunsmith. I wasn't kidding. It was that that cutscene was literally three seconds. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the gunsmith. Hecht Ranch is losing cattle to wolves. They're getting low on cartridges, though. I'll pay you handsome if you take them a load. Anyway, yeah, th this starts a recurring theme with the Pony Express missions, where Earl or Daryl will start a mission and say, Oh, hey, go talk to this other guy, and then the mission will actually start. Damn, any longer and I'd be fresh out of cattle. The rest will be crowbait without medical help. Fetch some tonic and sundries from Doc Stilson, will ya? Last I heard, he was out at Piper Lake. Go pick up the package, 
Go drop off the package. For some reason, the rancher, I think the rancher turned hostile there for a second. I don't know what happened, but... Here's some bandages and some cure. Tell the rancher that I'll put it on his tab. Thank you, Old West Master Miller. Really appreciate that. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, that was very clearly Robin Ackendown's <laughs> voice in that character. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being so quick with the supplies. And there's Robin Ackendown's voice in the rancher for some reason. <laughs> They're brothers. We're just gonna go with that. But they, they just swapped the voice actor because Rob because uh, the the rancher is supposed to be voiced by another guy. Rustlers stole some of my damn cabs, Cole. I need you to drive home a message to those fellers. They ain't wanted round here. Their little camp is west of here. Bust it up and bring back my cabs. You can find a horse in the barn. Now get. All right. Let's go, Storm. The rancher is normally voiced by Dwight Schultz, who, among other things, uh, he's he's performed as uh, Howling Mad Murdoch in the original run of the A-Team. Uh, if uh, you're into Suda 51, uh, he was uh, he was Harmon Smith in Killer 7. Good game. Also, those, uh, those wrestlers, uh, just run away as soon as they see you. You don't have to kill them, but I was, I was feeling particularly cruel that day. I think I recorded this, like, right after the, uh, the, the last batch of PSP missions. So I was just, I, I was feeling particularly annoyed. I'm annoyed with gun. I'm going to have to take it out on some gun. Yes. On its bigger... The, the bigger gun, brother. Your your little brother is pissing me off. Glad to see you, Cole. I need some calves cut from the herd. Can you help me out? I'll keep the herd moving while you get the calves into the pen. You can find a horse in the barn. This is a this mission is a perfect example of just how first of all how difficult it is to to program AI for this kind of thing, and it, it's made me appreciate all things right, like the like the goat herding. Yeah! That was a terrible joke. Yeah, it's made me appreciate the uh, the goat herding minigame in Twilight Princess a lot more. Just from having to play this mission and being really frustrated by it. One. They're just going everywhere. Don't worry, this joke is going somewhere, I promise. But, yeah, you can only herd the calves that have the calf designator over their heads. Um, I... Ignore the rest. They're yeah. not calves, or they're they're not calves with a capital C. We're we're segregating <laughs> the the calves from the calves. Ooh. I promise this is going somewhere. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's this last this last calf that really caused a lot of problems. Just it, it, it would not make up its goddamn mind. I understand that calves are stupid in real life, but you don't need to be realistic about that sort of thing, or at least keep it in check. This calf has ADD. <clears throat> I think this this is a, this cat had a goat for a father, or a donkey for a father, I should say. Specifically, Eddie Murphy donkey. Which would also explain the ADD. Well done. Three, three cows. I really wanted to make like a specific Sesame Street joke, but there are no instances of Count Von Count uh, <laughs> counting cows. Like, I tried really hard. There, there's no episode where the count counts cows. 
So I had to do this instead, which is also from I an older Sesame Street. to dodge. They're catching a train to Kansas City. Care to join me? Get a horse from the barn, then meet me down in the pasture. In, in almost, what, 40 years, the grand pantheon of Sesame Street? There is one episode where, um, where Elmo dreams that he's a cowboy and herds, uh, kitty cows. That was close enough, and he counts them. But it, it didn't seem right. No. So I just used that clip instead. Anyway. Uh, so now we're, we're doing a much better herding mission. This, this one's not nearly as bad. We're just herding, to, we're herding the calves over to the Longhorn. And then we're escorting them over to, uh, over to Dodge. Yeah, I'm genuinely surprised. Um, you know, uh, uh, Ch Children's Entertainment Workshop. If you're if you're watching this LP for some reason, please make an episode in which the count counts cows, because it's been forty goddamn years, and, and that that seems like a gold mine of opportunity. Anyway, at some point, my my video cut out or uh, got corrupted. So when you while you're escorting. The the uh, the cows. Uh, there are there are more rustlers that uh, really don't want these calves going over to dodge. Also, I thought I could run ahead, but the Longhorn is actually programmed to stop at a certain point until you deal with all of the rustlers. It's just being polite. Even even the Longhorn is being bribed by the developers to lengthen the gameplay. It's all of that corrupt, uh, the corrupt grass laundering that's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Son, you got more guts than you can hang on a fence. So that particular phrase is, apparently it's a, it's a phrase that's used in Texas, which is not a state that is in this game. So it's giving some extra characterization to our rancher here. Apparently he was originally from Texas. Either that or, you know, Neversoft just chose a... A phrase that sounded kind of old westy and didn't realize it didn't fit their setting and just like, eh, who cares? But I'm willing to give some benefit of the doubt. Phrase originally made popular in 1963. <laughs> really? No. Uh, <laughs> I thought the pause was you looking up the origin of the phrase there. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you at this point. Anyway, so we're we're gonna escort these we're gonna escort these calves over the bridge, and you'd think that you know a, a simple set piece like making cows walk in a straight line would be easy, but apparently um, the, these cows have other plans. Specifically, this cow to the left here is gonna break from the rest of the pack. W where are you going? <laughs> Honestly and truly, at this point, I was expecting the bridge to explode. I was very confused as to what was going on here. Where the hell are you going? What? Wow. We're just going to go right there? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, John! <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this entire video is Flex Tape 3. <laughs> That's what the code is held together with. <laughs> <laughs> and it still counted the mission. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Next episode, we're just we're not gonna have any commentary. It's just gonna be a, a Jontron soundboard. <laughs> Wanted, Wayland Payne for the murder of Thomas Wilcox, local parson. Last seen in Blackfoot territory. Approaching under cover of night is advised, as suspect is damn near blind. So, there is something of a day and night cycle. It's not in real time. It's just that in certain missions, it forces day or night to change. Huh. Come on. Uh, we're going to take the ferry over to Blackfoot Camp. Hey, Nolan. Yep. Now they've... Because at some point they realized that the the, wheel, the animation of his wheel didn't match up because they deliberately staged that cutscene so you couldn't see the wheel. Oh my god. Anyway, you can theoretically sneak up on Wayland and take him by surprise, 
And I tried a couple of takes for that, but eventually I just gave up, because... I don't know, maybe I'll go back in the extras video and see if I could take a, a take him down stealthily. But, um... Did you see the look on that broad's face? Maybe, like, in an earlier version of this level you could, but every time I tried to do this mission stealthily... Also, yeah, I... I more... subtitles. More subtitle fun. So that's, that's Wayland Payne. Um, I'll have to see if I can, uh, uh, if I can sneak up on Payne. Uh, if you're, if you wait until, like, really late in the game to do this mission, um, there will be some Blackfeet over here, uh, some Blackfeet in this area, and they will actually help you out um, in this mission if you get caught. And, uh, they will shoot Wayland Payne full of arrows for you. That, that's nice of them. You must kill his gang to take him alive. Well, it's like the old biblical saying. You save one life, you kill 14 others. Yeah, I gotta see it for the for the extras video. If I can get a post-game version of Waylon Payne that has the Blackfeet helping you out. Because it's one of the few instances where you can actually see, like, multiple factions fighting each other. Which is pretty rare in this game. Also, yeah, the Ferryman is, an, is a story NPC, is therefore invincible, and has the same sort of, uh, same ambivalence towards arrows as anyone else. Fire! Arrows! Yeah, we're, we're back in Hudo's casino, and we're gonna, we're gonna start playing poker in, uh, we're gonna start playing poker in Empire. So, this guy over here, Buck, he is my arch enemy. He is the toughest enemy in gun. That bastard, he called my bluff. I tried to tried to scare him off, but he called it. I thought I could go in ace high. Daring Bluck. That bastard. I was thinking, hey, I'll try to scare him by going all in. Nope. <laughs> He's very happy with that. He... Looks a little too happy. Has no pants on under the table. I'm down to 15 chips at this point, so... I think everyone folded except for Buck. And God damn it, Buck! Anyway, it's at this point. I was really determined. All down, all down to us. Let's do this, Buck. Eventually, I got through it all. You got nothing, Buck. Eventually, we, uh, it was just, it was just me and Buck left at the table. Once again, I was down a lot of chips. That win phase is going to be etched into my nightmares. Yep. Yeah. I, I was if I didn't already really like the uh, the animal avatar that I have for my YouTube channel I would I would change it but I like the <laughs> current one I have. He came back from the brink, 180 chips. How is he doing this? I don't know. But I got a three of a kind, a four of a kind, eventually got him in. <laughs> Look at his face. That is the face of a man who is spent. That is a sad Buck. Oh, Buck, I'm sorry. Well, we'll come back for Buck later. To finish him off, but first, let's go to the marshal. One of the opium dealers is ready to talk. Escort him to the local jail for, uh, for his safety. One of the opium dealers is better ready to talk. Escort him to the local jail for his beating. You know, you're thinking of the PSP version. Yeah. Well, hey, look who it is. It's Wachowski. Law dog has been camping on my trail. Does this look familiar? This looks a little familiar. This yeah. is the. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. Well, he's actually got a unique NPC model this time around, but this is the uh, 
This is the uh, the mission that was put much earlier in the PSP version in order to provide a tutorial for uh, human shields. But in the original console version, this is just like a normal federal marshal side mission. Also, he has a much he has a much less goofy run. Like he actually runs like a normal person when he runs away from you this time. Whereas before, like he ran he ran away like one of those like uh like an it, it looks like an NPC in from Majora's Mask or something when he ran away in the PSP version. Like I was looking over the footage from uh, uh, from our episode on that. It, it was really hilarious. Also, you'll notice that the the binding box for the human for the uh, human shield tutorial on the back there is gone, on the right there. Oh my God! It is. Yeah, great programming. We made an oops. We're just gonna add it to the list. Also, you'll you'll notice that uh, when uh, when we went into quick draw, we used both hands, even when we had a human shield uh, grabbing onto him. I I did see that. I'm assuming Cole has like six hands at this point. At least he, he keeps them in a de he keeps them in his dresser drawer. At least three brains, five spines, and six hands. I don't think they got no more. One for killing, one for loving, and one for taking a church. <laughs> if you if you try to enter the uh, the jail like right at the end of the mission, it teleports you out because you're not supposed to go in there normally. I was very disappointed because I wanted ammo refill from there. All right, let's do some more Pony Express missions. Work is plentiful up in the Northern Rockies. I'll let Cletus fill you in on the particulars. Yeah, this is another mission where it's like, go talk to this other guy. Red Tattashore was just too lazy to record the rest of his lines. I borrowed some tools from Barton Henry. He'll kill me dead if I don't get him back pronto. I left him in the Northern Rockies. Barton is working in the old canyon mines. Cletus kind of sounds like Cobra Commander. <laughs> I also think that's um, Honest Tom's voice actor. <laughs> Old Cletus finally wants his stuff back, huh? What in blazes am I supposed to dig with now? With bare hands? A spade? I don't know. Yeah, they really pile on the fake difficulty with all the natives shooting at you for absolutely no reason here. It's about time Cletus got those items to me. I wasn't in shy of putting a bounty on that pointy little head of his. Over tools? Well, remember, they, they put the, uh, remember, like, one of the first bounties that we did was, uh, that one guy who, uh, one guy charged with petty theft from Stubby's hardware store. Yeah. Then again, they only care, they should only care about murder. I don't know. Inconsistent legal system. Wanted. The Bandit Brothers. James Booth, charged with robbery. Bob Booth, for helping James escape. Bob is to be brought in for trial. James should be shot on sight. Location unknown. Yet another gimmick here. One target is to be brought in alive, the other is to be brought in dead. It, and the, the, uh, oh, and the brothers are always on the move. They, they have like a specific location. They're like within a certain map. But they're, they don't have a fixed location within it. Um, they're, they're in the Badlands, generally speaking, but they're, they're never within, like, a specific point in the Badlands. So you have to, you have to actually hunt them down. Also, when you first enter this area, they don't label which brother is which, so I accidentally killed Bob. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't say that it was Bob that time. So now I'm actually going to uh, kill James properly. And uh, Bob is actually going to weaponize the dumb AI in this game 
and he will deliberately try to kill himself if you let him run. Because uh, you're trying to you're you're because you're trying to subdue him instead of kill him. It's one of the few times the game actually utilizes its stupid AI properly. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. We've let's go back and uh, deal with Buck one last time. You ready to lose, Buck? Well, things don't go too well at first. I I lose all of my all of my chips. Well, most of my chips pretty quickly. Thankfully, Buck doesn't do too well either. That that guy Jigger over there, he kind of looks like James Corden, doesn't he? At least in his neutral his neutral uh, a little portrait. bit. So I, I start out kind of okay, at least at first, but things don't go too well after a while. And of course, because we're, we're an empire, even if you're playing on easy, you're not able to cheat in empire. Uh, you can only cheat in dodge. Also, th this music is from Red Dead Redemption, but it's from really, really late in the game, like one of the last missions. <laughs> Jigger looks so sad. <laughs> he does have one of the best defeat faces out of all the profiles. <laughs> it's like someone caught him sleeping in a really compromising position. Can I get a drink? No, you broke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm down to 70 chips. Things are not looking good. At least, at least this version of Bach knows how to fold conservatively. Oh, down to 15. Thankfully, I got really lucky on this all-in, so I, I do have some breathe, uh, breathing room left. Buck, on the other hand, he's, he's doing pretty well. Just go down already, Buck! Come on! Stop raising. I almost hit quit there. That would have been very bad. Anyway, I got both Doc and Buck at the same time. So now it's just me and Shelly. But Shelly's a fighter. She's not going to go down so easily. She's working with Buck, isn't she? No, actually, Buck's working for her. Oh, I see how it is. See, she, she's down to five. She's all in on this one, but I've got her on a three of a kind. On a three of a kind, I'm two. How Ladies and they? gentlemen, this has been Poker Stars on ESPN. <laughs> And that's, that is the second last uh, poker mission. The other one, unfortunately, wasn't that entertaining. But, uh... Er you, you can only make cards entertaining for so long. Yeah, I, I really had to stretch to, to make it even remotely entertaining for this one. We'll just be fast-forwarding through the last one. But I, I, I think I did an okay job on this one. Anyway, next, uh, n next episode should be fun. Oh, I'm looking forward to it.